new bell, but we're booba. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. We're booba. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I am your host Jake. Tonight I am joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. Blake from Blake Goes Face. Oh. And Loza from Loza. <laughs> yeah. A, uh, I was about to say Loza Time Wizard out of habit. Um, I'm trying to think if this is the first time you've been on the podcast. I don't think it is because I think you were, um, when we went to um, Sydney that time, you were yeah. in the room. I was definitely in something. So you were, yeah, a... <laughs> that was the one where it was like 10 people in a room and the mic's in the middle of the yeah. room. And literally the most, the person that we most wanted to talk to, having been Lewis, got the top having 32, top. had no interest in being in the box. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's he, like, he I'm going to like, bed now. He hasn't. Yeah. He like... does not like camera. No, he's over it. Yeah. All right, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Ben? Oh, it was fun. I went X1 again for like the fifth week in a row now. Consistency is key. I've always said this. It is key. I played birds again. Still oh. playing birds. It went fine. Tweet tweet. Yeah. It's normal summon. It went tweet. I normal summoned a lot. Didn't yeah. birds also top tonight? From what I was told. Yeah. From another yeah. bird Andrew player. also won. So birds are doing fine. Because he's playing Book of Mood. Uh, is he? Oh, I thought he was. Is oh, he yeah, actually? He, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, he best, he best not be. Bro. He's playing forty four cards. Book, Book of Moon too. What? He's playing forty four cards of Book of Moon. Actually. How, three book? <laughs> Blake, Blake, is, Blake is going to send him a very long <laughs> message him immediately. Book bad. <laughs> book bad. That was pretty, I have a pretty straightforward week in Yu Gi Oh! It went fine. Uh, Logan learned that his deck, not very, Eldritch, not very good against Bird once Bird has continuous spell up. Yeah. Game oh, yeah. It's really a bad matchup, but if you get that, a continuous spell up, you just kind of dick on him. Yeah. That card game is, is so over. fucking good. I can't believe they power crap Monarch Storm 4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Continuous now. Uh, you flip your mask and restrict. Oh, I have this on the field, so it doesn't matter anymore. Sand. <laughs> Sand. <laughs> Sand. Dude, I feel, pays a visit. <laughs> I feel personally attacked. Yeah. Uh, Blake, how was your week? I made a, a master Duel deck profile. Oh, you on, did on Cleese on the deck that the week before on this very podcast you said was garbage. No, no, no. It's garbage. I. It's garbage. Current format. It's not bad in master Duel. It, it just abuses. <laughs> I'm not. Hold on. Let me. Literally, the only a... difference for that deck is Maxi. So literally, no, no. Just Maxi, more Maxi cards. helps, and also the format. The format itself is yeah. actually quite nice. Um, yeah, and yeah, they yeah, just yeah. can't out tower. Yeah, the lack of being able to side a kaiju. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that helps a lot. Genuinely, genuinely. Yeah. there's no out. That's like, why Dragoon's not on Master Duel. So yeah. yeah, people would have to main their kaiju. I mean, people do. <laughs> do this of Num- yeah, just Numero on OTK loves a kaiju. Oh, oh yeah, true, true. true. He knows. True. I'm gonna build it. It's just free wins on ladder. Yeah, it's like network, it. no response. Oh, that's good. <laughs> bonk, I was bonk, so bonk. excited the other day. I was versing a Numeron player and I managed to store them out and um, they went for their third network activation. I didn't think they'd have it. But and then they I had it? They had the spell, but I had the cosmic for the field spell and I was like, it took me a while to realize, like, because you just set the cards for a couple of turns and mm. I realized, oh, you literally can't summon anymore. You're out of yep. the card that does the thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, no. Sweet. I'm more <laughs> impressed. It's like there's people who play three Golden Lord, which is also common on Master Duel. It's so like people common. just play. It's not just common, though, cards. in Master Duel, is it, Brag? Although, uh, so Logan came to locals tonight, decided to borrow Bragg's Eldritch deck. Uh, Sick. And. He was playing against... Uh, who was he playing around to? He was playing against Costa. Hmm. And so then... Someone, or Dragon Link? Dragon, Dragon Link. Costa? Which, Dragon which, Link which version of Costa? Uh, Dragon Link Costa. Like, like Super Saiyan Costa or just normal, normal so Costa? So, he go, plays game one and he's like... <laughs> he's <laughs> come in! Yeah, Bragg's, Bragg's now a 10. He needs to defend his deck. He's it's... like, <laughs> Bragg doesn't know shit. Sides out the third Golden Lord. Immediately needs the third Golden Lord! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so he'd said Sanguine drawn into the second Lord and the third of the and side of the third game. out. Um, like, because, yeah, you have brought it up on your channel before. It is a very, like, it is a very good point. But I just feel better if I brick on the Golden Lord. I'm like, oh, well, if I have the only one I have access to get called by, which happens all the fucking time, <laughs> it just, it just triggers something in me. So yeah. like, he's like, never again. Right. Like, 100% you're right you probably should only play two but as I yelled at him in my work car park <laughs> like oh that's what you got sanguine for I'm like well you're not drawing sanguine you fuck 
<laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. Like, <laughs> it's pretty different to be. I will use it as a comparison, but yeah. like, El Golden Lord is just a better deck t- for starters. So playing three, oh, it, I would say it's not as good, but it's still better than playing three Dark Magician. Yeah. Yes. Because um, the problem with Dark Magician is people are like, what if your Dark Magician get caught by Grave? I'm like, you have Dragoon. <laughs> Who the fuck can? Yeah, cool. Bye, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> sucked in Logan, you fuck. <laughs> Back, back to, to our regularly scheduled Back to the, back to the studio with him. Um, wait, wait. If you call by a red eyes, does yeah. it negate Dragoon? No. People talked about it a lot. It does not. Okay. I like that we have the person who can establish Dark Magician yeah. ruling. I don't, I don't, I don't not even a ruling. moment of thought. He's just like, no. 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 I had a brain thought. I, yeah, no. You, you can, can super poly. You can super poly someone's Dragoon because Dragoon is always identifying as red eyes because it's someone off either Anaconda or Ref. It's always identifying yeah. on field, but no one remembers as red eyes. So if I have Dark Magician and Super Poly, I can summon a Dragoon off that and have two yeah. pops. Yeah. And if it gets banished... If it gets banished and then it comes back, how many... Wait, it gets two pops even though the Dragoon on field is not a Oh, vanilla? sorry. That's, that's sorry. I'm wrong. It doesn't get two pops. Aha. Uh-huh. I, I am I the lied. King of Dark Magician. I Cause, lied. Cause you, and the funny part is, right, you know that any question you could possibly ask about Dark Magician, 14 fuckheads have asked him already. Like, j- guaranteed. 14 have asked... Per comment section. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Per, per oh, sorry, video. To, to get back, because I did get that wrong. But to go back to that, <laughs> you can summon Dragoon, though, because it identifies as Red Eyes in that moment. Right. It's not a dragon. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Dragoon needs Dark Magician and a dragon or Red Eyes. And because it's sure. fulfilling the Red Eyes name in that mm. moment of time, and it will be- till it leaves the field, because fucking Red Eyes Fusion Anaconda. Um, How bad was the comment section on that ruling to you? Um. It was a lot of people who were still confused that you can't Eternal Soul back the Dragon Knight if you send it off anything, which is the very first time I did that at Locals. Jake's like, you can't do that. I'm like, what? Is this, is this semi-nom, is this semi-nom yeah. territory? Hmm? Is this semi-nom territory where it has to be summoned legally first before Yeah, it it's just yeah. the standard extra deck ritual clause where it's like, hey, if you have to be summoned away, you gotta be summoned that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's it for your week, please. Yeah, D Cleese, I'm uh, gonna play more Master Duel. What's up, boy? What's um, cracking? Uh, gonna play a bit more Master Duel because, I mean, after Apex is done, I want to grind something online and still Yu Gi Oh is fine. Uh, the format for me isn't terrible because I actually like Drytron. I played Drytron for a little bit, so I don't mind true, seeing it. Like, I don't mind seeing it for the 18th time in a row, I'm like, sure. Ben um, Tennant Tree, though. But I will play that, I will play that game. So much more when I got my birds. <laughs> Give me my fucking birds. Until then. I don't care. So, to finish this section here. Uh, I know. There's an OCG ban list on the 1st of April. Sure. Birds are currently the third best deck in the OCG. Oh, oh. oh. What if they hit oh. birds okay, in the okay, OCG okay. and it's then apply okay, it to Master Duel when okay, they put the ben. cards in the game? What? <laughs> what? Okay, Ben. Tell me, tell me a hit, and I'll tell you if I'll play the deck still. Map to one. You got Advent. Oh. You got Advent. You got Advent. You got Advent. You got Advent. It's probably Not the most more, but logical map hit. Is really harsh. Play, play demise if, of the land, bro. If they just, <laughs> if they're gonna hit anything in that deck, it's map to one. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Quick play spell. It just sets from deck, but they're probably normal before they special. 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 Fuck. Ah. Just play Metaverse, bro. Easy. Uh, I, I would assume you'd just... Map to one... Uh, you'd Smog and set rotation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Smog then field you would do Smog stuff. I saw then, Andrew yeah. using the Smog stuff. It actually seemed decent. Yeah. I will actually I bother to work out a, a build for Smog when... Um, if ma- Yeah, map goes to one. They won't hit Advent account. I don't, I don't like, see map getting hit to one in our format. The no. issue is in OCG and then that translating to Master Duel when we get... Yeah. Maybe one of the... Uh, you know, in, in shocking news, one of the only smart things Josh has ever said... Um, is I know it's fucking shocking but Birds is the boogeyman of our format like it is genuinely like it's not the best deck but you can play against it and just lose if and I there's, make Sigma, and there's though. no choice you had in that game like there are some games that the hands just people open and they go nope you have a barrier statue and you can protect it have you read all the judges lounges posts though where people are like if my opponent had Final Sigma, can I attribute it off wins or whatever? Final the, Sigma D stuff. Whatever the continuous. Oh, we went over this ages ago. Yeah. yeah. Final Sigma just fucks the no. deck. Like, it literally yeah. does. It affects yeah. the card. Yeah. yeah. It, it so Sigma is just like, actually... I win matchup and bird player crap. Yeah. yeah. I don't Towers know why people do be Because you can't go into Sigma if there's a fucking barrier statue on board. Well, yeah, that's true. But going first, you can yeah, always say, first, I've won the game. You just laugh at them. You just go, congratulations. Yeah. 
But yeah, know. it is very talented. With the amount of synchro decks around, you think someone would have made a combo that gets to it efficiently and easily? I know birds aren't the biggest meta contender, but they're decent, and they're the book. I think good. if they had more, um, like decks at events, just just more numbers, people might. Um, Maybe that, but, and it is very linear in what it does. Like the deck hmm. is effectively solved at this point because yeah. of yep. its very niche interactions. There's not a lot you can sort of add to it. It's not like dragons or spellcasters or any other deck. Like hmm. there's a very small group of things you can do with that deck currently. Yeah, hundred percent. It's Small all just like cool, you take but... choices in terms of your, uh, your yeah. non well, we fun stuff. <laughs> oh, well, good time to mention because it's thematic. Uh, the other thing I did this week was I uh, had good chats with uh, a bird player that we saw at Central that beat Josh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but her list was double book, sorry, triple book, double evenly in the main. And my literally my recommendation was add an M pen, take out all the books, take out put the evenlies in the side. Play a more consistent list, immediately tops uh, RC Cruise. So, nice. stop playing Book! I don't give a single fuck if one player at a YCS did well with Book. I could not care less. Just because somebody does well with the card doesn't mean it's good. Over it. He does well with Dark Magician! <laughs> don't man, play Dark Magician. Man, all Dark Magician. <laughs> Do not play it. It is a shit deck. There are people that have done well playing three Dark Magician in one ref, okay? If that doesn't tell you that Yu Gi Oh is an inherently flawed game. Yeah. What do you want? Loza, how was your week? Uh, yes. S- stunted somewhat. Yep, I've definitely competed in a locals in the last two weeks. <laughs> I mean, I would I would argue that you've probably been more involved in Yu-Gi-Oh in the last week than most people. I mean... Just generally. I've, I've made Churning master out that content. content. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't really make much else, so I was just like, well, time to play Master Duel and cry because there's no Illusion of Chaos and the deck sucks and there's no Dragoon and it's like... I'm going to next. So I play Invoke Engine now because <gasps> I'm like... <laughs> you need some kind of negation. I'm like, I would like a one card something. But then, as I've said in a couple of vids, you're just playing like a nerfed Invoke deck at that point. It's like, you know how when you play Invoke, you're like, cool, I have the one card Mechaba and four hand traps. Yeah. Now it's like, I have the one card Mechaba and four bricks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Good. It, look, it's a matter of perspective. You could say you're playing a worse Invoked or a better Dark Magician. Exactly right. <laughs> Exactly. It's all a matter of perspective. Glass half full, people. The problem Glass is, half full. you just have to never play like pure invoked, and then you'll never know. But why exactly. aren't you playing double summon to summon Rod and Alistair? <gasps> why aren't Sheesh. you playing Book of Moon to dodge the imper oh. so that your Alistair can resolve? And still, oh, no, Jake, 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 down. Jake, genuinely, that is such a good statement. Like, because <laughs> that is that <laughs> literally the That's argument. The point. That's the like, point. Like, it's the argument. Like, what functional difference does that serve in these two okay. It's so, the same thing. Why aren't you playing Book of Moon and Book of Tayo to flip the Alistair back face up and search That's another true. invocation? That's yeah. practically double yeah. summon. Yeah. In three it cards. Is. Invoked has been solved, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Guys, well, we well, four years out. later. <laughs> when did Invoke come out? What set? Uh, Fusion, Fusion Enforces. Forces. Straight up to Zoo format, 2017. It was mid-2017. It came out on the 26th of February. 17, 18, five years, five five years. We've had it vote for five years. And it's still done exactly the same thing it's always done, which is like, it's just one negate. It's one negate. We've had it five years and two weeks. Oh, it's nearly the anniversary of Fusion Forces. Do you know how actually- We already went past it. It was two weeks ago. Oh, it was two weeks ago. Oh. Happy birthday, Alistair, sorry. We should have uh, done a video on it. Prince what? Ali. There's a February set. Prince Ali Ababa. Wow. Hmm. Hey, Mel that makes me sad. Too. I got that deck in like one of my f- initial introductions at Nara because there was like literally a winner box the day that it came out. I bought a box, got like most of the Was deck. that your stopping shit deck? He had invoked. Yeah. Was yeah. that your stopping so, shit deck? Yeah. No, I was playing Mermel OTK, he which was a well. fine deck. Yeah, I do remember time. that. Okay. Like, it did fine against Zoo because it's like, you have one pop and a strike, yeah. I will still mm. go for it. Um, but yeah, bought a box, got most of what I needed. Um, there was some fucky thing in like, the last round where like, heaps of people tied. Um, so somehow I ended up winning despite not being like, top of the round. Sure. And I got the other box and <laughs> got like all of my hey, votes. So, so I was like, I take it. The funniest thing was about that tawny was, so it was all short printed. So your invocations were short printed. Oh. Only two people in the room pulled invocations, and Jeez. it was Jake twice and me. <laughs> <laughs> and it was um, like, what oh, was your cool. stopping shit deck? Because I don't, I, I don't. Uh, Paleo. Okay, you're like one of the players that 
because you were in Nara for yeah. a while and then I never saw like we never played like during the like 2017-2018 was... like I picked up ABC but I was still kind of like I don't fully comprehend this deck and then I got Paleo in my hands, hands and was down. like I'm doing Miracle Force in your list it was so hot. It was... Uh, I love that. Um, what was, uh, your stopping shit deck was um, engine.deck, right? It was engine. Yeah, it was cool. the monkey deck. Yeah. That's when I got the my Stopping shit. Monkey deck. Yeah. Brag, what was deck yours? Uh, Insectors? Machine and Gadget. Oh, fair cop. Yeah, yeah. fair cop. Fair cop. That was Machine and Gadget if you... What, what, when was that format? 2010. Holy shit. <laughs> I was like, that was definitely not any time Bro, recently. Bra- bra- <laughs> Never mind. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Um, yeah, so my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, still on Ignistas, still performing fairly consistently, generally going X1. Um, the funniest thing that happened this week is I was versing Logan, um, playing his deck. Um, we were in game two, I got to my towers, um, couldn't get to much else because any time I, like, tried to progress the game, saying go for the game, you just pop whatever I summoned. <laughs> but then I had towers, so I was just like, okay, well, do the thing, slap the board. Like, he couldn't get anything big enough, and he was trying to get into his kaiju, but he couldn't find it. Um, eventually ended up outing the towers, I can't remember how. Was it, I think it was, was it access code? Borrow sword. He borrow sorted oh. into it, which was fine. Um, the funny thing is he had the extra and he's like I don't want to extra because if I banish the Boral Sword then I won't be able to game but if he'd extra he would have drawn the Kaiju <laughs> <laughs> see, see that's punished for not going for it which I like yeah um, but the funniest thing about that is that he just ended on Boral Sword and a Lord on in defence um, so I start doing the combo get to Transcode uh, Transcode bring back the access code he's like oh no oh wait it's got no attack oh that's fine Link off into um, access code. Access code target a link six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, problems. Problems. Biggest boy. <coughs> yeah, that's problems. Whack. I haven't yeah. seen access code that thick. <laughs> yeah, it's the biggest up. access code I've ever seen. It yeah. was huge. It's the biggest it can get. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, yeah. Currently, um, ex- outside of other. Pen on board. That was good. Oh no. Yeah, it was just great. I just love. I just. I really like cards in this game that punish your opponent for being an idiot. Like, and just not reading, which is the thing that we ne- all of us don't do. It's yeah. so good. That's why I, I thought your blue eyes thing was just hilarious, because it's like, just getting punished for not reading is so good. I feel oh, like it would be amazing fun. for your opponent to, like, summon the access code and be like, access code effect, and be like, no, no, I've got M pen. They'd be like, you can't respond to access code. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. Oh. <laughs> You are technically correct, sir. Um, and then on Master Duel, just been... Actually, no, actually, I will bring this up a little bit more. Um, oh, it's in our next segment anyway. So, yeah, Master Duel. Um, so, it has dawned on me that when you play a good deck, you win more. Um, I know. Shocking. He played oh, FTK. Don't, don't, no, don't clap. Uh, I promise you. Don't clap, Greg. You won't enjoy this. I, that means I can, and yeah, it's fine. you can. Um, so, yeah, um, the reason I'm going well now, or at least better than I was, is because I'm playing Invoked. <laughs> Didn't we? Ju- sorry, sorry. When you normal, can I get a hard that. cut to last week when you were like, "Why would I play the deck I've played heaps on Master Duel?" Hey, well, that's the hey, thing. I've played hey. Mech Knights heaps now as well on Master Duel. They're and... all super rares. Yeah, literally, <laughs> yeah. and only dawned on me when Loz brought it up because like, yep. I've just crafted most of the deck. The only ultra is Elysium, and you're only playing that in heavy invoke yep. builds, which right. is like super poly builds. So like when you, you spun wait wheel? wait that means that it's when so you summon stupid. your macabre it doesn't down the do red. like the animation of the macabre getting played I and think like it, the it does. Does. it does oh okay so you do yeah. get to like play the macabre and you yeah skip yeah, there's a it's dolphin just, it's just a super <laughs> macabre macabre <laughs> <laughs> yes because I was like oh, I'm purple try some card DM invoked. <laughs> and I'm like every invoke card is super rare half the do DM they just cards spin away like I after looking at it surely they're just like. That's it. Honestly, so, like, are you talking about the animations or the no, the, oh, the no, rarities? The, the rarities. Oh yeah, literally. The I think for, s- for the stuff that's in the meta, <laughs> they're all different. Yeah. For the stuff that's in What's the meta, Danny? I legitimately Super. think that they like picked out. Okay, these are going to be the the crux points. People are going to have to buy this to make the deck good. Therefore, sure. we make the ultra. Yeah. For anything mm-hmm. else, they just looked at what they thought was the biggest card and are just like, yeah, yeah make Large. this one. Elysium, big card, ultra. Is like, Towers an ultra? I guarantee you it is. Probably. Um, I don't know. It's got an animation. So for some they reason. Made okay, the so here's the thing. It has an animation, 
but it doesn't do anything. There's no movement in it. It literally <laughs> just it just sort of moves forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. um, what you want. But then, like, you look at shit tier decks as well. Like fucking Metaphys, they made an ultra of a card that nobody plays. Yeah. And I'm like, sick supers or lower, I'll take that. <laughs> Somebody wrote a whole article on how to unlock the towers icon. There's a towers icon. You need it. So. You have to go down. There's, there's, there's a towers the, icon and there's the, a monolith mate. Yeah, oh, I, I've I need, seen the model of made, the, um, but it didn't know it was also a does nothing. Cycle. Like uh, yeah, towers is an me. ultra. Towers is an ultra. When you yeah. want to wow. telegraph your Large opponent boy. what you're playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the, that's why I didn't have like any mech knight things as like my icons or mates or anything. I didn't want people knowing I was playing mech knights. Yeah. Not that anyone would know what mech knights do. Like it's no hint at all. I'm not gonna lie to you. I made the joke every single time if I'm playing birds and I put the trap in a zone and then I put M pen in the other zone I'm like gotta play around the mech knights <laughs> you do I tested Literally, against you like knights once four years ago and I was stuff. like nope just don't do it yeah but like d not jokingly mech knights actually can do some damage to birds because A they all special summon so it doesn't trigger mat B they oh, yeah. can special in defense so they can all use their effects capture okay. activate stop defense <laughs> oh yes off turn enemy stop. control do you, do you enemy get, control do you get caught up when they normal and so you use map, and then you've got, then you kind of go through this period process of like, but the trap's gonna flip everything face down, so I kind of want to use the trap. Like, yeah, eh. I did notice that tonight actually. You tribute summoned and didn't flip um, something face down. Like he'd, yeah. he'd already used um, so, Featherstorm, so it didn't matter. He oh, wasn't okay, doing okay. Anything. There was one point tonight where I got caught up explaining the interaction and forgot about my trap, and I was just like, oh, I've lost the match. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, I, like so, I like did my tribute summons, like tributed for M Pen, and then like he flipped the card and was like, "I'm gonna use this," and I was like, "I have priority first. I have my normal summon effect." And I was like, "Normal summon effect," and then I had to explain that situation, and then just forgot my trap card. And I was I like, "Oh, cool. This was game." Happen so many times, like especially when you're playing a deck like Ignista, where no one knows what the fuck any of the cards yeah. do until you get to access code, and you like <laughs> too busy explaining what the things do, and then you miss the interactions, like fucking the dark one adds back a spell the amount of yeah. times i've forgotten to do that just because it goes to bin and i'm focused on what the thing on the board is doing because yeah. they're asking questions about it i fucking hate it is so it dark much temple or the the little the, the little dark one. Oh, the link one no no no, no. You... um the dark main deck monster oh so gotcha on summon yeah. adds one back yeah uh, when send a grave add one's back it's, oh nice it's nice. fucking so good yeah that's really good something i need to get into the swing of things with like especially playing flun where you're going like chain link four on a summon you to help, remember yeah. <laughs> Let's just say all of my chain links, and then I will explain my interaction after. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, any other funny stories from Master Duel? Anything new? Give... I'll play it content. in the last week of the month again. Give content. Yeah, just give hopefully at the end of the month, like you're saying, like with the sort of introduction of OCG ban list, there will be changes and on Master Duel. Oh, well, that was when the uh, Battle Pass <clears throat> expires. So I still have yeah. that belief oh. that when the Battle Pass expires, we will get new cards and a new ban list. You watched last week, cool. yeah. We had yeah. a good discussion of like every game uses the Battle Pass system. Yeah, so. Battle Pass good. I'm not sure if Flunders will make it in at that point because I, I remember think the literally the next set. I will have we have an Burn aneurysm. Call. We won't get advent. Yeah, I guarantee we won't get advent. Yeah, probably which is get advent. Fine. There's a chance we could get out. I could just oh, see them just dumping just, every card. Oh, actually, that's that a good point in because TCG format. yeah, because they introduced cards from Synchro Storm other than the one that everybody wanted. So there's every chance, like, because they've got we Bird Call and all the other yeah. little birds, but they've they not gave got, us everything yeah. but Baron. Yeah, I was like, set. we have Bird Call, but not Baron. Yeah, they know it's a problem, so they're like, uh. every card but Baron. Well, it's only a problem when Sword Soul come out. In the current format, there's really not a lot of decks that can spit out a rank 10. So they're going to spit out Baron. I mean, not a rank 10, with level 10. Sword Soul. Just to, like, probably, yeah. really ensure Emphasize, they're meant to be hey. played together. They'll probably put it in the same pack. They'll be like, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll they'll be like here's Sword Soul. By the way, uh, what did we hit? Uh, <laughs> Protoss? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to play good Sword Soul. Oh no, my Arch Nemesis deck has been nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I had to buy that um, pack <laughs> list Shout where all soul. the Nemesis stuff oh, comes okay. out because oh, no. that's Whoa. where because that's where Metaphys was. Oh yeah, oh, oh, like, I did. Oh, see these guys vanished. Let's whack them all together in a pack. Yeah. I pulled so many ultras from that pack. It was so it's fucking good free. Good the dangers and Kaisers are together. It's just like Grandma you dot deck. You just like there you go. Give me, give me. <laughs> it desires is it at one? Yeah, it feels good. It feels <laughs> really good. Is it two though? 
It's a three. Okay. Oh wait, maybe I have, it's a two. I haven't watched oh, I more no, sad content. It's, it's at three, but it in is like Japan now it's a two. Two, and here's yeah. at one, but, so it's gone. Yeah, it's the list before they put it to two. So. Yeah. I haven't seen more sad content than that dude reacting to his Yishan? Yeah. I love Yishan. Bro, he's, he's made new he lists now. He has a breakdown of yeah. the fact oh, that... Oh, yes, yeah. I've seen it this guy. Good. I, he's I, like, I've followed him the second they have an interaction, he's like, please don't, please God, no, no. He's like, ah, how? He just says how for like five minutes. <laughs> to be fair, like, who was expecting that ban, let alone, like, one of the best oh, Grand Manji players ever? And he was just like, bro, like, <laughs> my deck has done nothing. Like, it, I swear to God, it was a Sword Sword nerf. I swear it to God. It was. It was like Virtual World Soul Soul. Yeah. yeah. Anything yeah. that plays it. Virtual World Soul Soul, Tri Brigade, all love desires. Yeah. So rather than looking at the 15 other decks that needed it just to make plays, they're like, yep. One. Good. The old gold sock. With right, what do you got next? Oh, big Sage. Uh, oh. So we have a announcement of a card from the set whose name I cannot remember. Um, it's next what, course, It's like it's not, what? So what? it's the new uh, ritual. Yeah, uh, the new ritual card. You didn't hyperlink it. <laughs> it's just text. <laughs> so it's the new <laughs> ritual card that lets you send from extra deck oh. conducting a ritual summon, but the card itself can't be tributed. Um, so what did, in what? in our chat, someone was like, oh. Uh, this, it was Costa. It was Costa was like, oh, this card's great. It like, could replace Herald. And then everyone was like, oh, yeah, that's actually really good. And then someone finally clicked that they were like, oh, but Herald can make Beatrice. Yes. Yes. So it is overeager Mr. and Mrs. Tankui. What? <laughs> it's like panda people. Yeah, <laughs> level one dark fiend effect. It's Are they like underage? It, no, no, no. It's oh, like a God. it's like a Japanese married couple. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, that's it's really cute. cute. The, it is actually a really fuck? nice artwork. It's awesome. that's I don't cute understand why they're level one fiends um, when they look like that. But yeah, anyway. what the hell? Uh, oh, so yeah, level one dark fiend effect monster attack zero defense sixteen hundred. I can only use the second effect once per turn. If this card is in a monster zone, it cannot be tributed. Sure, monster zone. I'm assuming that it's a Brilliant fiend, culture? so that you can't use it with like what rescue shit or something. Duck. Oh yeah, yeah. Union carrier is banned. Or like yes. Union carry this shit out in the spell trap, so uh, if you would ritual summon a monster, you can also send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard instead of tributing. Um, note, this card's name sounds like Mr. Attorney courting his chickens before they hatch, but references raccoons and diving. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thanks. That's the reference we knew and loved. <laughs> See the problem with this card, a lot of people were like, cool, but then they were essentially like, I'd rather just play Manju or Diviner because Yeah. yeah. Like, they're like, you, we can skip a step, but also, why? Yeah, if, Diviner if does it's the special same thing. Itself, yeah, if yeah. it's okay. specialed itself, yo, it would be in every ritual there. Yeah, yeah. so if this were easier to get out, mm. like, legit, Oh, you've got a normal good. at all, fucking, yep. yeah, yeah, that's terrible. Same as that freaking new Chronicle Sorceress, where it's like, its effect is perfect on a Link 1, and it's just a random spell cast, you have to normal, and I'm like, why? That card made me... I can't believe Dratron will have come out gotten its support and become irrelevant before Diviner gets a reprint. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Divine I mean, good they've card. hit it on literally every ban list, so it'll be interesting <sighs> to see how they I'm nerf so it on the next one. Very true. I, it did nothing wrong. It, nothing. 10 lame. It got stopped by one hand trap. Hey, and I, they were I like, put up, I put up Don't be wrong. No, 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 no. The Ben 10, no, no. I mean, like, the Ben 10 nerf needed to ha absolutely need to happen. Yeah, it cannot sure. have Ben 10 at 3 yeah. in, in any world. Yep. After that point, I'm like, fuck, let it do its thing. You know what made me learn Ben 10 is bad and needs to be a one or banned? Fucking Duel Links. Cyber Angels on Duel Links were a top deck for a long time and it, they put Ben 10 to one and then the deck just went fucking trash. They, said, Pew! they put the Ritual Spell to two and like some, like the little Cyber Petite Angel to two and Ben 10 to Man, either ban or zero. Or or ban or one. And just the deck just went <laughs> off the cliff and go. And poor I was evil. like, whoa, Rituals can be good. Yeah. But not anymore. Just as long as they're not summoned by attributing your entire hand and needing to draw a ritual It's the spell. same as fusion though, I feel. It's like, if you're not cheating the mechanic, it's a shit mechanic. Yeah. It's just got power crap. It just resources. got power crept. Yeah. Like, genuinely, it was just a power crept mechanic. That, so. Well, ritual. Yeah. When it got power crept by the other normal summons in LOB. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I so summoned true. my hungry burger by getting rid of a five. Oh, yeah, what's yeah. that? There's no relevant fives? Ah, uh, no, I guess I have did. to send a six. Normal summon. Bank. Um, we also have... This card was announced in the V-Jump promo a little while ago. Well, it was kind of announced. They didn't announce the effect, but we have it now. Uh, so this is Loris, Lady of Lament. 
Um, level 3 Dark Fiend effect, attack 15, defense 500. Oh, you only use your first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. You can target 3 or 6 of your normal traps that are banished and or in your graveyard. Place them on the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw card, one card for every 3 cards placed. Right. If another monster or monsters is tributed or a normal trap or traps in your possession is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can target one normal trap card in your graveyard, set it to your field. So they so, expect it to lay, stay on the field. It wants to be the normal summon in trap decks. When you have Lilith. Yeah. When all, you have Lilith. Yeah, all, all lament cards are like, I am a normal summon in your trap deck. But each of them is worse than the last. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. have gotten progressively worse. This one's probably the worst. It's like three <laughs> to six traps. It's like, what are you, extravagance? What are you, trying to be freaking Pot of Prosperity? Like, get the fuck out of here. And, and, and then you need them all in the grave, so you want to be using this turn... Make her a spell. Three at the earliest. Stupid like, three to six card. Yeah. Make her a spell. I, make her a, make her a spell and watch her also you not You know why played. I don't yeah. want that? Because if it were, banished or in grave, that's just free for Eldritch. So like it means that they're no longer on a yeah. like they're no longer on a clock where like oh I have to win within this amount of turns because otherwise Actually, I'm out of yeah. conks and recycling Eldritch traps is fucking AIDS. Like yeah. taking them from banish back in deck. Yeah. Oh lord. But it doesn't Pot of Avarice do that or some shit? Uh, no. no, there's no monsters. You're, you're, yeah. Oh monsters? It's only yeah, monsters. That's only and monsters. Pot of like something. in fairness, Eldritch uh, have a card yeah. that recycles them already. They just oh, don't some play. people play that into Tri Brigade matchup and it's very Avarice? Cool. No, 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 the one that... It's a it's, quick play. It's a quick uh, play spell. Yeah. You, when they go, oh, when um, they that, go Revolt... Uh, in-off card. And they, yeah, 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 you know, want to yeah. summon from Badge, you just go... <laughs> three back to deck, I draw. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good. People do it on Master Dawn. <laughs> I remember that sneak peek where that card came out. That card was the bastard. The Invasion Vengeance yeah. sneak peek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it was just like... Everything in that thing was huge defense. Defense, defense, defense. Was defense, there Metaphys defense. cards in there? Defense, defense, There was Vengeance. Defense. Yeah. Something that involved banishing... <laughs> And you just like constantly ne not deck out by just going like inquisitiveness back into deck. D bass, D bass, D bass, D bass. D barrier. Yeah. And uh, treat toad. Yeah, treat toad. Treat toad. Uh, what else was in that? Uh, I, I remember. Uh, Alkahest? At that sneak peek, someone. Yeah, yeah. Full Metal has Alkahest was yeah. in that set. Mm -hmm. um, someone didn't know that they'd changed the name from tree toad. And like someone pulled it, and was like, "The fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> ben, would you believe that? Not uh, what day is it? Last Saturday, I was working, and I saw kids do the exact same thing. He was working. They opened the binder. <laughs> they opened the binder, and they went, "Surely not!" And I was like, "Why? What's up?" Because they had the binder facing to them. They pull out, totally awesome, and they're like, "Really?" And I was like, "Yeah." Look, yeah. We're a couple of years late, mate. It's I, still, it's still as stupid. I like. still think the name is great. It's, it's grown on me. I'll say that it has grown on me. At the start, At the I'm time, like, "Where Tree like, Toad?" Like, yeah. "Where Tree Toad?" It was so cool. Given that I religiously played that deck for a long time, mm. I really like seeing totally awesome. The puns that you can make with it are stupid, so you gotta um. take it. You gotta take it, and it is a pun, so <sighs> you'll love to see. What's next, Jake? Uh, next we have another non hyperlink. Bear with me a minute. Um, what's, what's the what's the uh, We're apparently s reflecting on 20 years of uh, Legend what? of Blue Eyes. So, going Hell on yeah. to years! It went up on the channel a few days ago, but uh, the 20 years retrospective on uh, LOB stuff has come up. No, um, the, the, so... the most OG players are here now. So I, oh yeah, it. true. So, I watched it before I came here. Yeah, so. it's 20 years now. Um, there'll be <laughs> deck profiles going up to go with it. Um, the, the podcast has gone up. We're going to be doing some gameplay footage as well between me and Bragg, so that'll be on the channel. Um, oh, yeah. Do check it's it out. Cool. We're gonna kind of do this for every set for twenty years. We'll just Legit kind of beat play them. format by format. It's so Legit interesting. Control like... is the go. Yeah. It's so fucking good. Well, I Bragg's mean... building dragons. Oh, so, yeah. Wait, what? He's, oh, he's building Lord of D. Can he's building oh, Lord of D? Oh yeah, yeah. Because okay. Dragon Treasure is like unironically okay. Because it it's like yeah. equip spells are okay back <laughs> then. It's like yeah, you can play them, I guess. I'm sure this was brought up, but it's still funny to me that like a lot of those cards aren't actually worth money, and they're so old, yeah. and they, there's there's just no like collector value for the set other than first ed like. I want them for drafting. Like, give I, me your yeah. Celtic Guardians, yeah. bitch. Yeah. I realized uh, that I had to buy more miniature bugs because so oh, I had yeah. I had a tin of cards where I put all of my OG OG stuff mm. like OG commons and shit, and just left it at my parents' house <laughs> and was like building the deck and I was like. Fuck, where are my media bugs? And I just had put them all in there so they're not in my bulk. So, so I'm just gonna automax fruity media bugs. <laughs> Supers? <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. LOB switches. Dude, that new man eater bug card's really good, by the way. Not not for modern Yu Gi Oh, but it's just really good in general. Pop two. Pop two? Yeah. Nobleman eater oh, bug. Oh, yeah, Nobleman eater bug. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, the new new one. There's yeah. an, there's oh, that's right. There's man eater yeah. bug support. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they made another man eater. I can't remember its effect, but I it know it's good. It sets man eater bug from deck, doesn't it? It it does something great. Or was that, that a joke that, that I made? It, it like I think it legitimately does that. Okay. okay. Someone will yeah. practice. It's good anyway. Um, comment down below. Yeah, let us know what that card does. Well, actually, we could probably find it out. So, don't say that too early. No. Um, so we have speaking uh, some, of commenting down below. yes we have some comments from our discord um, if you're not a part of it already there's a link in the description um, we keep you updated on when the new stuff comes out if you're not already subscribed which you should be um, only a small well portion as... of our audience is subscribed you should subscribe <laughs> throw the thing up on the screen we do need to figure out uh, an intro thing for the podcast about subscribing I've so. said this a few times but this is okay um, but yeah, link in the description, uh, keep updated, a uh, bunch of cool people to chat to, um, and yeah, we've got question section where you can post questions such as Paul Pelican has. Shout uh, out to Paul Pelican. Paul Pelican, Paul, he's the yeah. tenue player. Yeah, he's like yeah. an OG of the channel. Um, yeah. He's watched for ages. Yeah. Uh, what do you suggest Konami could do to make the game better for all, whilst not impacting on their profits negatively? Would you suggest certain ban list changes like cards or fixed dates, etc? Changing the rarities and pull rates of packs? End of match rules? Um, also, it's awesome to see Blake back. Takes me back to when I first started listening to the pod. Oh, thanks, man. That's cool. Okay, uh, quick fire. Um, multiple rarity printings. Pokemon sells more than almost any other game besides Magic at its peak. Yes, it has Pokemon value, but people buy Pokemon product because they can pull really cool cards and high rarity versions of cards. It won't, it has shown, it won't impact sales. Just multiple what? rarity print cards, it makes it easier on the casual market. Literally what they do in the OCG. L yep. Yes, That's they, the yeah, they do it. They do um, it. Yes, a guaranteed dead on the ban list has worked amazing when we had it back in the day because you knew when to buy and sell cards. It, do, it affects secondary market it doesn't affect them at all it might yeah. drop sales for packs that have come out three months prior but like fucking okay um at this that, point we can't even well. get packs at that point anyway because they're already selling they're, out they're already out that's right. true yeah on, on that as well like this current format it has no end date and i'm kind of sitting here like oh this fucking sucks oh um, that if last you knew it would be okay like, like if, the next yeah. man list will be uh, yeah so in the future um End, oh, of match, end of match procedure is dog yep. shit. Like, I totally understand the idea of YCSs can't be running in, at 11 p.m. at night. I get it. I know the old rules did lead to a lot of really, really long rounds. But fuck me, YCSs happen locally. Like, uh, you know, even if you're in the U.S., you could go to a couple YCSs a year. You go to locals every bloody week. Make it better for them. Just give us better time rules. Like yeah, it's I so understand that neither side of what we've had and what we have is good. There's yeah. problems with both, but there has to be a happy medium. Honestly, that that's the one I'm kind of like. Honestly, I get it. Like, there's a lot of arguments to be like. There, there were YCSs, especially in Europe, that were going so long, and people were just like. Also, if they booked the venue until seven p.m. and the, the event's meant to finish at five, and they finish at midnight, which has happened, yeah. you can't. Like, <sighs> there's also the. I, I believe when they brought in the time rules was right around when they started paying judges. So like all of a sudden oh. you have labor laws that have oh. overtime uh, something for with that. many hours. <laughs> yeah, I did, not, I did not consider that. But those those the... came in at the same time. Okay, makes yeah. sense. On the time rules, my pet peeve: I hate every deck that can win in time now, which is a lot of freaking yeah. decks now. Yeah, they, it's like every deck now a has deck. a mechanic where it yeah. can potentially win in time. Prank Kids has had it for a while. Birds, Sky Strikers has had it for a while. Sky Strikers has it. Even Something else. Every decent deck can do it. Even Branded is going, well, it has it now, but like it's only going to become relevant once the Arbet structure comes out. Yeah. Like, that's going to be another meta deck. Branded, you can see in OCGs in fucking everything. Like, yeah. Branded dick shoes. I really matter. think I uh, again this is up for Change it's just it's rules. yeah, straight up. It's Change. just personal, but I do think of everything, multiple printings would help the most. I think ban lists yep. and multiple printing kinda of go hand in hand where you're like, when do I spend money, when do I not spend money? But and sure, we were talking about this I'm sure Bragg was on this during Dark Arm format when Dark Arm was Dark fucking Arm. ridiculous amount of money. But I think we've we've hit this like mountain where it's just so expensive it is really expensive prosperity was the tipping the point for me where i was like this card is not good enough 
It's not good enough to be five hundred dollars. Yeah, the price yeah. you pay is way not. too much. Like, like extravagant, get you two cars. Like, but it don't even. It's a good car. Dollar. But for it to be four hundred and thirty dollars a set. Yep. What are you talking about? Desires yep. was at the time a hundred infinitely better card, and, and it was a hundred bucks. It was a hundred yep. inch. Like Easy. back then, like those cards had a ceiling of that much. That's yeah. just what you paid. You just wouldn't pay any more. Yeah. Like people wouldn't. Yeah. But you're like no. Um, to be more. fair, I think Dark Arm was like 180, right? 200. Dark Arm was a lot. Tool Guide became a lot. Dark Arm's yeah. a car. Um, it. it... <laughs> <laughs> You'll Bad notice if you, go, if you go back <laughs> when we're interacting about Dark Arm, Loza makes eye contact with me and he goes, Dark Arm, and I'm like, Dark Arm? <laughs> and no one else clicked on it. Yeah. Oh. But Dark. it's just a, oh, it, the card just warps the format and it yep. makes every player that oh. attracts to it bad. Oh. I agree. Dark yeah. Arm was $350. Holy shit! Because it was one of secret, one of sixteen secret rares in a in a booster box. They only had one secret rare per booster box. Yeah. Why wow. did they do that? <laughs> was this around Gladiator's whole time? Yeah. Yeah. Glass. Wow. They just, Wait, they just... was it actually glass? Uh, no, no, that was um Phantom Darkness. Right. Okay, <laughs> but it had the same issues as Blade. Yeah. Fuck. So if you wanted to play that deck, you had to have a oh, hell of a lot of so money. So in to theory, play an original dad would be worth a yeah. heap of money. Yeah. Currently. Yeah. Uh, oh, Look, realistically, I have no Who's sense gonna of buy it, but... price on that card because the last time I saw one for sale was at Hawassius. And that was two years ago. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but, but, but like, w- like, it's not like I'm saying old Yu Gi Oh wasn't expensive. There were times where it was expensive. It was but... just a different expensive, right? Yeah, but also, you remember, like, we had Ultis. Yeah. Were in main set. So, at the very minimum, yeah, you, you had, had an Ulti like the thing you could buy into. Oh, yeah. and then Ultis to buy into. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, Ultra, Ultra, no, no, it's not Ultis. Ultras so, yeah, yeah, there we go. Ultis. Ultis, Ultras, because I remember the thing I remember is uh, Shadol. Yeah. Construct, oh. Construct being an Ulti and an Ultra. Yeah. I think the Ultras were like actually an okay price for literally the best yeah. deck. Like, yeah. yeah, it was not a bad price. They also, so back then, they also printed a lot of good cards as Ultras mm. because they were one secret per box and you typically got your Ultras was where your good stuff was. Interestingly, on the Dark Arm thing, the Ulti Dark Arm is, yeah, like, TCG, so one sold in the last 18 months probably, but like 500, 400, or 500 Australian. Jesus. Um, yeah. But the, 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 so the, Phantom, the Phantom Darkness one, the secret, it has just not sold in the last year because if it would have, it would have been on TCG. Yeah. It's no, just it's out of stock. It just selling. hasn't, it just, yeah. it just, uh, there's but, no but sales record. It says out of stock because no one ships to a trial. Oh, oh okay. the, fir- the first Ed one um, would have been about $500. Okay. Yeah, wow. There you go. That's yeah. crazy. The ulti, really. it's, yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous money. Like, the Gladiator's Assault ones, like Necroface is the one I always come to. That oh, one is yeah. worth a whole lot of money. Like, I've really? got non-first Ed ones, and I saw a non-first oh. Ed one sell not that long ago for $500. I picked mine up for 80 each. Necroface? Necroface. What? Secret I, I, Necroface is big money. I was saying oh, that so it's pretty. shocking like how big the collector market has gotten, which is honestly I'm fine with because again, not playable cards. Mm. So like if people want to spend five, six hundred dollars on an ulti dark law is what I keep coming back to because at the time they were like eighty dollars. Um sure, like, like I don't actually hate it. Like that market can exist and people can spend that money on what they want. I think it's cool. Yeah. Um but Well that that market exists in other games like Magic and Pokemon. The yeah. issue with it in Yu Gi Oh is because unless they're banned, those cards are live forever. They just randomly True. become relevant oh, and yeah. therefore it fucks yeah. the market. Yeah. Because you've just had these collectors that have That's bumped up prices on cards that are suddenly playable and then it's like, Oh, you want to play this Necroface in your Thunder Dragon build? Fifteen hundred dollars, please. Yeah, <laughs> like it's yeah. That's the, that's the issue with that market in Yu Gi Oh. Is those cards randomly become relevant because mm. the cards from ten years ago are still technically live. Like so, point of context on the whole like money as a part of Yu Gi Oh thing. Mm. I don't know about you guys, but I've been on both sides of this argument as a competitive player. Mm-hmm. I spent probably about two to three years playing budget meta, and. I feel like at the end of the day, it made me a better player. Like, I agree. Yeah, you you learn to grit and grind in the game 
with trying to make budget options. Mm. 100%. Like, yes. It forces you to play to the best of your ability yeah. as opposed to just playing the best possible cards that you can get your hands that's on. In, that's yeah. interesting. Because you can't make so, a mistake when you're a budget player. But, but yeah. also, your, building, your deck building's a bit different, right? Because your yeah, deck you building to the meta you know, out. Exactly. and they're saying, like, the Yost, the, yeah, I'm thinking about your Yosinjus right now, and, like, <laughs> Yosinjus came out with Necroz. Probably, like, arguably, like, one of the best decks of all time, and I was like, how do I beat this? Let me work out how I beat this. Like, okay, and you have to do it. Yeah. Like, probably the one format where... As a budget player, I was allowed to just dominate. Was uh, Spiral format because That's interesting. What were you Spiral. I was playing Spiral, but Spiral was cheap because hmm. I had just picked up the deck when it was all worthless. Oh and yeah. And then Double Helix got announced, and I just had to buy my Double Helixes. And it was Ultra. Yeah. And yeah. then yep. there's still a four. Like from ultra. my booster yeah. box. By, by the way, that is still the biggest shock to me. I cannot oh, believe they didn't make that, the secret. That should have been. We would. We would. We were certain at the time it was going to be. A Wait, secret. was that Circuit Break? Yeah. Uh, evenly was the secret there, right? Yeah. Oh, evenly yeah. was such a crazy yeah. card as Even well. Even then, you just <laughs> kind of budgeted around it. I mean, like, as time gate was it existed. Yeah. And I placed one it. evenly in one of my YCSs because I I got hold of one. I think you had one of the other ones. Yeah, yeah. We like both had an evenly. You might have had two, but I had one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the day of Regio? Uh, which YCS? ABC YCS? Uh, no, no. Uh, Spiral YCS. Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. Do you remember what yeah. that person did with their evenly? You're, bring, you're unlocking things in my brain that have been like dormant so this person who plays at our locals who shall remain nameless um, also entered the Melbourne YCS he is known as a terrible player um, he got his entry packs and pulled an evenly oh my yeah 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 well done him good work yeah. uh, put it in his bag unsleeved and completely ruined it just yeah just and this just is like jam again, it in there it's like the chase secret because we're going into a YCS where we know it's all spiral. You it's would have had sleeves spiral. from your deck. You could just unsleeve one of the common pieces. Put it in your deck. Box. It doesn't matter. And just that's so put stupid. Put it in a sleeve. God. I'm by the way. I am glad. Um, Konami. Oh, who? Are, I, I assume it's some kind of body in um oceanic region that decides where we have our YCSs. I'm glad they did that once and went. Nah, back to Sydney. Sydney. It's, it's fine for Nats. Yeah. Not for a YCS. <laughs> Which is really interesting because Pokemon trip. did the opposite. Pokemon saying, like, they love their Melbourne event and it's in the middle of the city and everyone has a great time. Because hipsters play oh. Pokemon. Oh, fuck. True. True. Yeah, true. True. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Mm. true. True. That, that, oh. That's the biggest hindrance to Yu-Gi-Oh! is holding it anywhere else is because the biggest majority of our players are in New South Wales. Mm. Yeah. It immediately reduces the amount of people that will go. Like, it just... Took three hundred off the off the limit at I was, minimum. I think it was more. I think, yeah, I think it was more. The um, other the other thing is too like, and this is just from my timeline in the game. It was the YCS previous to that was the one seventy fifth where they had the specialty mats. Yes, yes. That one impacted my like thought about how reduced that YCS was because that one was such a bumped up event because of the prizing yeah. available the token, and token booth, booth that they didn't yeah. have before token booth. token booth the mat was heaps chase because yeah. A was Dark Magician and B was an anniversary yes. type mat yeah. that was the best YCS um, so that one had like 11 or oh, maybe just over a thousand people enter and then we went to Melbourne and it was like 300 I'm like Oh, this place is a ghost town. Yeah, yeah they had, <laughs> and they had way. set up the same amount of tables, expecting there to be yeah. over a thousand. Yep. And then, um, more so, just slightly to the um to the question as well. I do think yeah, back to that. <laughs> when, when you're talking about like when you're talking about like pl playing rogue, yeah. especially not necessarily it's rogue, not even rogue, right? budget meta. Yeah, budget. Yeah. So yeah, like, budget. you have the core, but like the you don't have are, like a bit, yeah a bit or, tough. Yeah, like those yeah. staple three ofs that. Uh, money cards you yeah. don't have you can't afford so you have to play those backup options that and sit around I think wh where I would kind of sit with people having a problem with meta and meta always existing and like the funny comment we had in the group chat of just ban all meta and shit like this <laughs> I, I think if you give players access to the cards somewhat access to and again I hate to harp on but like Pokemon just did it did Form, the set that just came out has a card that will be relevant for the next two years. It isn't a question. The card is going to be relevant for the next two years. The basic version is thirty dollars right now. On release, uh, uh, what like a week after release, it is thirty dollars right now. The most expensive version of that card is one hundred and eighty dollars. No problem. Do both. The fact that, that we have an event coming up and I don't have to worry about being jammed on by that deck and how good it is because I got I can just get the thirty dollar version mm. means that I'm not going to sit here and complain about. Oh, well, I went to an event and got absolutely dumpstered by Necroz 
eight rounds in a row because they had two grand to spend on their deck and I didn't. And it's yeah. like, like, yes, it's it's very cool to play budget meta and I and I believe in that, but there are things you can do to reduce how hard that is to do. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. when it comes to yeah. staples. Like yeah. I like the idea of like the cores being super cheap, and I guess we can it will be take too long in this podcast, but we could have a discussion on like them shifting from high rarity staples to, from having the most expensive cards be the archetype cards um, and that, that shift that happened with like Necroz and all that shit yeah. sadly the way Konami's mentality is around that kind of stuff is if we're printing at low rarity we're going to hit it on a ban list like yeah, you get yeah. Pancratops common limited because you they, they, that whole grave, process is like common, you didn't spend too much limited. money on it so you shouldn't be that worried yeah. about us hitting yeah, it yeah it's a, it's a it's a double-edged sword, right? Because like Dry-tron. you get expensive <laughs> staples. Whole. You get expensive staples. The benefit is that um, like they're not as likely to be hit in a ban list. It's yeah. not all that off. Like Pot of um, Desires is like the first staple card to be hit in the TCG. You could have bought Ashes of Secrets time. on release, and they would have been the best value for money in the last five years. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Like, 100%. like yeah, 100%. the secrets are hundred dollars each. One of the many regrets that I have is like <laughs> not buying imperms on day of launch on imperms because yeah. like all in the, the room people were selling decks. them for sixty at sneak peek. I wish I just bought every like... salad structure deck I saw because those ashes oh, are selling yeah. for like thirty to forty. The yeah. commons. It's like... yeah. But what's crazy is that I think like it gets into a good place after four years where there's like a bunch of versions and sure ash is still twenty bucks for like the the cheapest version, but for a card that's as good as it is in certain formats, I think that's fine. I think yeah. $20 for a staple is okay. Yeah. yeah. But the the issue I'm getting to is, sure, it's it's the issue is obviously you've got expensive staples, so it's a lot to buy into the stuff that you kind of need to play the game at a certain level. But at the same time, they're safe from the ban list. The opposite thing is, if you go back to archetypal expenses, you've got the best deck being the most expensive. You're paying like the $180, $200 you're paying for dad and all that kind of stuff. But it's limited in terms of when and how long you can play it because you've yeah. literally paid into the most expensive deck you're more likely to win because of that yeah but at the same time sure. that a deck needs to be addressed because of the, the way that this works there's no rotation you're not guaranteed to have it for a certain amount of time it's yeah. basically yeah. as long as that deck is good there's potential for it to get hit so then you've lost money on that uh, investment right but then so what you're saying is the problem is you're entrusting konami to hit it properly yeah, to yeah, say yeah, like you yeah, get this long with it because genuinely I the entire of like the last like the first 15 years really did feel like um, we knew how long you would get with a deck roundabout and everyone would yeah. say alright we've had this deck for about long enough I'm not going to buy into it now because we've had it for 9 months and it's been a top 3 deck for about 9 months Konami Ooh. also tended to kill decks when they were doing yeah that. you know they what that's were, a fair point you didn't yeah, get, they did like, take it out back hits? and just be like Good night. The format yeah, of the wasn't that... after Orcus format. You'd yeah. get like Ooh, the, the the fucking Spellbook um... of Judgment banned. Yeah, as yep. opposed to like D- Spellbook um... of Judgment Limited, Blue oh. Boy Two, Secrets <laughs> yeah. Two. It There's was... just Judgment. I don't. Gone. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Do you remember Genocide deck? Uh, genocide uh, ban list that was like Shadol's dead, Necroz dead, BA lived. Uh, Klee's <laughs> dead. I woke up and like looked at my phone and like I uh, I woke up at about nine o'clock and went. I just like went back to sleep because I was like everything's dead. <laughs> like don't worry Before about. It. They just wiped three decks and they just went no more. Well, the issue was because this was like right as I was starting to get into the game again. We were like, what the fuck? They did that and then were like, here's Pepe. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is the other yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. So like, right, there was yeah. there was nothing to compete with it because yes. they did that. And were like, so Breakers of Shadow comes out in like three weeks. What do you guys plan on playing? You know what's it was so funny. I actually Hang compared on. Brilliant Stars to Bosch. Like I was like, oh yo, it's coming out a week before literally the first major event in the world. Oh, this is going to be like hundred dollars each. No, multiple printings just takes care of it. It yeah. just takes care of it. Like it really does, yeah. especially when they're like easy to pull. Um, but. If they think it will affect their sales, again, I guess they're not looking at OCG. Um, and this might be a good set swag way. It, it, yeah, um, I was going to say, the, but, in Poke- in OCG, I should say, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is within the top five of card games that are It's really, it's into. decently, it's actually decently popular. Like, it's, it's, yes, it's quite good. I believe it's... Yu-Gi-Oh! is second? I, I think it's I, really high. Yeah, I wasn't 100% sure. I was fairly confident it was top three, it's, but I know it's um, top five. Because I know Magic's not a top three no, not, not in, not in it's Japan. It's like fifth. Damn, they're I think it's Weiss. 
<laughs> why I think it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Vanguard <laughs> Pokemon. So 2019, 2019 to 2020. Yep. So just that period. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! is actually number one. Oh, okay. Shit. Wow. So 2019 all the way to the end of 2020. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Masters. Where's what? Luke? Where's yeah, it's, Luke? It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Because <laughs> <Where's laughs> it never stopped over there. It um, kept going. Pokemon. Why Schwartz? Nonsense. <laughs> battle, battle, spir- battle spirits. <laughs> Where Digimon? MTG Digimon hadn't come out yet. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. MTG Vanguard. Okay. Wow! Um, imagine being that low. But like, sucked in magic. But you'd think twenty-eight po- twenty-eight percent of all TCG sales in Japan are Yu-Gi-Oh. So you you'd think you would look at that and go, okay, they have multiple printings. They have at least to an extent a similar band list function to ours, similar formats to ours. Mm-hmm. Granted, a little bit earlier why don't we just do the same sort of set releases we do for them multiple rarities so that people can buy in at whatever level they want you've got your style because high rarity secrets. horse will still fucking go for it they are like we're, we're seeing with secrets and starlights starlights aren't played because they're ridiculously priced yeah, but people, people are chasing them but people, people, people are chasing buy- them people yeah. are buying yeah. them and, and on release paying so five, yeah, put in bucks. the top loader and they sit on the bench part of the issue with like tcg Yu-Gi-Oh is like the culture of buying singles is so prevalent though yeah so like a lot of those people that are like chasing starlights aren't opening packs to pull those starlights yeah. they're buying the singles on the secondary market from other people mm. because That's... it's absolutely more financially yeah. beneficial to just oh, not yeah. but if... keep opening packs oh, until yeah. you pull if one the of hit them, rate yeah. on them was like significantly better but mm. the card was only worth a hundred bucks sure you'd probably see people opening packs more but yeah the fact that it's like eh, not that it's, easy it's also worth noting um, because I don't want to say like it's the only it's like the the holy grail is to print multiple rarities magic standard is printing multiple rarities out the ass. there is like five versions of the same card which is has been incredible for the players and really bad for the collectors yeah. we've seen collectors yeah. not want to buy product because there's just no money to hit because they've gone so far off the deep end with like three different types of packs they'll go like a normal pack a double or like a more rare pack and then a fully foil collector's pack product is still selling out but people are just less happy with it because you can't hit the money you used to be able to hit so there is a balance with it but it's so good for the players you can buy like the most meta deck in magic for 100 bucks flat easy i feel like but, maybe i'm wrong but i feel like collectors wouldn't open packs right they'd probably buy stuff on the second hand market not not collectors I just mean people who like to open product oh, okay, people yeah. who all oh, like to hoard product and like say, keep like, product sure it's you just, the... just cater to the players and yeah. be like collectors they don't give us because there's like, like, like a can... section of who I don't cares? know if it happens in it doesn't really happen in Yu-Gi-Oh but there's a section of the audience that's like audience um, they just, who just they buy just magic, buy oh, heaps Pokemon, of packs yeah they Pokemon just buy packs. packs and they're just like I want to try and crack the cards I want to crack and open a bunch of money it's just there is a balancing act there that they have gone really far off the deep end because they're like do you want to pay like really would you pay three times the price for a box if you were guaranteed a secret every pack would you pay $350 for a box 24 packs but you're guaranteed a secret every pack and they say there's like the same 15 16 secret slots it seems pretty good. That no, seems decent. Actually, seems yeah, if you good. if you apply that to you, yeah, like the closest that we've ever had to that was when we had the first Battles of Legend. Yeah. And yeah. when yeah. you first practiced that, Legend was so cool. that was one of the best. It was the taste. Printed. It was the taste of like, oh, we could, like, this could be like yeah. a standard and we could get like good reprints. That was essentially time. Konami just turning around and being like, hey guys, we're essentially just selling you every card in the set, but you'll get four of them twice. Will they be yeah. a bad four? Who knows? Will they be the good four? I, I also feel as though the four were like either the good four or the bad four. I didn't see anyone getting like middle ground. Mid, mid, mid. Yeah. You either got like Minerva, Crystal Wing, Omega, something, or you got the Synchro Fishes <laughs> and then like two other things. I don't even remember the bad cards from, but I just remember the amount of good cards in it. Yeah. Shut really up, Dash. The Synchro Fishes. How the dare. Synchro Fishes, one of them got good eventually. <laughs> but my poor white aura whale. I yeah. Can't <laughs> um, so I think I had had like one other thing to point out cold. on that on the yeah. Paul Pelicans thing my kind of thing on the how you could make Yu-Gi-Oh better for like new players that, that was a question was making yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh better for new uh, players um, oh for both sides for both sides yeah the game better realistically it's Konami taking structured X more seriously like yeah. oh shit yeah, yeah, yeah. Konami yeah. is 
actively Konami oh, in so the TCG is tr- intentionally making structured decks worse to protect the value of other product. Yeah. Whereas mm. structured decks should be treated more seriously to be the introduction for players. Like you look at salad format. That was an unnerfed structured deck, and anyone could just pick up three and have a very competitive deck. The yeah. only thing you needed to buy was Sunlight Wolves, and they were like an eight dollar rare, rare because yeah. of it. But like Okay. And maybe you an have... access code. Like, yeah. Oh, that wasn't out yet. Oh, well, that didn't come out. That didn't come out for like another year. Well, then yeah. you were good. Like, yeah, so yeah. Like, OG Salad didn't use it. Yeah, that. it didn't even yeah. use it. Like, wow. That was the one time where it's been like perfect. But yeah. ever since then, even Shadol structure decks with bad. good staples, Shadow One was great. It was yeah. another time when perfect deck. That's probably it, though. Dino? Yeah. Dino. Dino was good. Yeah. Um, they they just did need kind to of get... nerf some of the Shadow One, though, to be fair. Yeah. The cards that they took out from the OCG. Oh, that they always freaking... Because they always change the cards that they reprint in the OCG. The OCG is like, oh, this card doesn't that. be reprinted in a while. Let's have a random common or super. Yeah. This is just like... It actually does bother me they have like a very good like model there in Japan where card games are enormous um, and they're not even testing the waters on doing it. No. And not only that, they took it away. Like, who remembers... Them saying printing ultis was too expensive and that's why they were stopping. Yes. Get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> so so cancer. Anyway. To, to wrap up the point, yeah, like side structure decks, which already aren't good at having mm. like the good staples removed from them. And then like we tend to just get uh-huh, one a year ruler. if we're lucky of a good starter deck. Elbaz hopefully will be the change to this True. where we will get a buy three and go structure deck. Mm-hmm. But it feels like it's been so long since we've had a grab three and go. Because like we board. had monarchs, then ABC. we had what monarchs, dinos, monarchs, dinos. You're gonna say ABC. Then we went, oh yeah, Salamingo. ABC. Because that was we yeah, had a good run there. Yeah. So it yeah. was like it's not very monarchs good. into ABC, yeah. into dino, into. Salad. It was a little bit of a wait between yeah. we when we hit salad because I know I think in the meantime we got there counter some, fairies. There and was some fucking garbage. Some in other shit. Yeah. Really then we hit salad. That was February 2017, 2018. Then 20, February 2019, yeah, we got Shadol. Mm-hmm. And then Radio I, I will say, genuinely, to back you up, that is probably the question I get asked most for people from you. Yeah. Yeah. In store, well, and I'm I sure just, you get the same. I get the same. Where it's like, I, I want to play the game. Let me... Like, it happens in Magic a lot where they... they I want to get into this. My friends are into it. What can I do? Yeah. And when a Shadol structure deck is out, or a Dino structure deck, I get to go... Grab Literally, three. you want to spend 60 Go. bucks, you're this good. This is a great product like, for you to start with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, and it feels really good to be able to do that. When we had the reprint of the Dino Structure Deck, that was something that got a lot of like kids into the game, where they'd be like, oh, my friends are playing it, what should I do? And I'd be like, buy one of these, come back with your pocket money in another two weeks, buy another one, and you'll just make your deck better as you go. Yeah. And you will be fine. You'll destroy your friends if you know how to build <laughs> this semi-competently. Yeah, yeah. See and then go. away you go. Yeah, but... yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've had like a just, yeah, grab and go product. So hopefully the Alba structure is the change in that if we ever fucking get it. I'll, I'll be interested to see what Master Duel does to it as well Give because Master Duel haven't. So uh, Duel Links, the Duel idea Links. was. Duel Links? Was that right? Duel Links? The, yeah, um, there's so many different. But Duel Links, uh, apparently, from like a business insider thing I was given by my tutor, was like Duel Links had a negative effect on um, the TCG because Duel Links was doing so well that they. Yep tended to shift a lot of the workforce to, to Duel Links and just leave the TCG me. running in the cycle that it was. Yeah. Um, I could probably find the article and people link it if people about don't, it. If we read it. But people I'd be cu- curious because Master Duel I think will be hyper popular if I'm... I, I, I think we will see a lot more of the like what we had last week of like... Yeah. I got back in because it's... I, I can play a good deck and not spend... It's very true. Well there's that and we're still in this period where a lot of people can't comfortably leave their homes. Because yeah, some true. places are still in a very bad way yeah. for one reason or another. <laughs> and it's just a more convenient way for them to play. It's not high investment. It's more time than money, if yeah. anything else. So they can comfortably play. So it will be interesting to see what inf- like impact that has. Um, and whether that does shift um, sort of focus from the TCG more. Which I hope it doesn't. I mean, <laughs> there's already very we could get some happening. really cool other stuff from it like I would be keen for everybody to watch a huge tournament like Worlds on Mustard if That'd they produced great. it correctly and they had like a good setup and like 
They, I know, I know. But realistically, like with that, with that, that kind of client, <laughs> with that kind of client, you could do it, and you could get like really good casters. You could have a good event, and like again, from home, you don't have to fly twelve people to Japan and then have like a semi, not like a half thrown together fucking live yeah, stream. Poker machines that can do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> exactly. like, like, uh, no, sorry, they were paying for like, weren't they not paying for most of them? I swear to God, they didn't pay most people to go out. Or they, they paid, paid for the flights and not the, the hotels. It was one of the two. I remember they the money being a weird thing. Yeah. They, they, they didn't get expenses paid. Oh, okay. I forget what I saw. But, and but that, it would be cool. And I, that like, triggers me so much. It would be nice to see. I remember, but, yeah, for sure. I, remember I don't know the worlds that... where I think it was Gabe was the North American champion, but he was 17. So he invited Team Samurai to be his guardian? Because <laughs> 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 Team Samurai got Oi, Oi. Oi. King. Who, dude, that's sick. It's um, it's kind of sad, but like, is it kind of sad? It's okay, because Pokemon has that system where if you get a number of points, they'll fly you to worlds. Juniors have that system, and because no pe- outside of the US, nobody plays juniors. Like, there is a very small group, like at a big event for Pokemon. So there's uh, twenty four people or twenty six people for a cup in adults. There'll be four juniors, and top four or top eight juniors get points. So you'll see a lot of parents who also play Pokemon get their or their kids be into the game, and they just get free flights everywhere and oh. free and then they get expenses. They get like they, to all like to whatever either Washington and then London will be this year. But so many families are just like my child beat one other kid who couldn't play the game because I bought his deck and now I get free flights <laughs> to the UK. Yeah. Hold, right. hold up, Blake. Wouldn't you rather a Nintendo Switch? <laughs> no, 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 a PS4, dude, I, t- I remember being and told Luke, oh, yeah. PS4. I remember being told Luke Parks, or, or was it Marcelo, was owed, I think Marcelo was owed like four PS4s at one point, <laughs> I remember being told a high European player was owed like four or five PS4s, do you know she has a house in Italy and France, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's jokes though, I actually love him casting, he's jokes, I, I like it a lot. Also, the thing he does is, I've seen him actively call out other casters for being fuckheads. Like, they'll say something wrong, and he's like, I wouldn't do that. But anyway, and then just keep talking, and I'm like, yeah, don't let him say stupid lines. I love oh, it. Oh, that's one thing I'm not looking forward to, is when they start up YCS streams and, like, have people that have clearly just <laughs> typical Yu-Gi-Oh thing of not read a card, and just be like, mm. oh yeah, this is how it works, and I'm sitting there screaming at the screen. No. No! No, I does not <laughs> No, that's just not how anything works. Um... So I think that pretty comprehensively covers Paul's comment. Um, on to podcasts, uh, and we have Loza. Um, what? Have Loza who? read it. Oh, who? did you? Oh, yeah, you read it. Also, it was me who did the Aquamador off Rabbit into Bahamut. He did. I was YCS yeah, yes. In dark <laughs> fucking magician in like day two. I him him, had, wait, him having to ask my family, <laughs> can I stay with you? Because I didn't think I would make day two. And I was like, yeah, dude. This man. He was, like, he, was like, I, happy. he was like, I just didn't organize anything. Because I didn't think I'd... You know, it's literally the thing of, yep. I didn't think I'd get this far. I was just like, bro, I have like five and nils in my deck. <laughs> I don't know how I'm here. <laughs> oh. Good times. I well, also explained... The, I When the guys were like, what the fuck is this totally awesome? They were like... To how do you summon this? And I was like, there's a thing called Bahamut Shark. And they were like, oh, sick. And I was like, I can't believe I'm talking Ever about this in 2022. <laughs> Ever read Swap Frog? Thinking back to that, I miss YCS, Norden. Um, <laughs> Same. It's Same. Yeah. <sighs> Good times. Rank uh, 4. Bagusk Pass. Illusion. <laughs> Normal summon, you met us. <laughs> Put on helmet. <laughs> That covers us for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. No, Please. wait. We have one what? more thing. It's really important. <laughs> the rarity. Uh, the oh, rarity. show me the rarity. Oh, shit. Yeah, you skipped the rarity. No, because, oh no, my, because oh I my. said it swagways super well because we're talking about printing multiple rarities and OCG have just announced a new rarity. What's it called? True, they have. Um, Bonus section of the podcast called, we're only going to put up for Patreon. It's called it's, Ultimate Rares. It's called oh. Patty's Market Rares. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian, can we like start a Patreon and put this section in the Patreon because every fucking YouTube, YouTuber seems to be doing that now. Yeah. Get over it. We're not going to pay for your Patreon. Suck my dick. I was waiting for 1k. 
Yeah, fair. What do you have to do to get a Patreon? Nothing, you have to Nothing bro. Do it. Just set it you up. You should do it. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna do you, it. You should do it. I'm gonna free money, bro. You, you, if anyone, should do it. I'm gonna do it. Say, hey, give me two bucks if you play Three Circle, idiot. <laughs> 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 People Ooh. give you three bucks. No, no <laughs> Cap, I think you could set up a tier to just be like, you pay it, you send me a deck list, I respond to deck list, and it's just oh, yeah. all I bad. Most legitimate they thing. send me content, I acquire money. And then yes. you get content. And <laughs> Bro, it's a self-fulfilling cycle. Hit so me. they call it Ultimate Rare, but it looks very different. Why do they call it Ultimate Rare? That's just Suck what it says. Not. I don't know. Is it <laughs> Ultimate Rare or the right. Ultimate Rare? Huh? Is what? <laughs> it's Ultimate Rare or the Ultimate Rare? If I'm reading it from the sentence, it's all Ultimate Rare. That, that's the different Which actually could be a decent description for... Okay. This. I oh my god, it is the fake cards! Yeah, I've got these! I told you. It's Paddy's Market these. It's Paddy's Market it's, 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 Tell me it's like textured. It would be. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope it, it feels like those. Yeah, yeah. I got a Dark Paladin that looks exactly like Oh, that. that's kind of hot though. Yeah, the like Souls looks really nice. Touch. But yeah, it's got a heap of the. Ben, um, put them on screen. Like, because it's from the History <laughs> Archive collection, try. it covers a remember. bunch of Dark Magician stuff, Red Eye stuff, Elemental Hero stuff, Ignista stuff. Um, it's going to be Bell randomly. In, this, oh, in TCG. Yeah, Rainbow TCG. Dragon. Just ridiculous. That, wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's a, one of oh. the new history archives. It looks like CR. It does a little bit. Um, yeah. Formula Synchron. Formula Synchron, Utopia stuff. That'll be fucking beautiful. You, you should have screen tapped your phone before we did this so that you could have. I could have just put the file straight over. I've got, I've got some of them. I'll flick them over to you. No, like you could have just like re screen recorded so everyone could see what we're looking at. We should do that. Oh, that would be a great idea. Oh, yeah. That's oh, that's yeah. a big brain. Um, oh, that, yeah. That's, yeah. We should do this in future. Post production. Yes. But then do we have to clap sync? No. No, no, no you just throw it up. Link Wap Rebo it. looks mint. That's where I would sync it. <laughs> that, is that well. access? Oh, my that's God. access. It's um, going to be more expensive. It's all right. I play oh, gold. Oh, lost. Red Eyes Inside. 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 Let's go. Still not a high rarity <laughs> Dragoon uh, Red Eyes Fusion. I was literally about to call it Dragoon yeah. Fusion. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> can someone can someone mini a dragon? It's not slash dragon. What's fusion. the um? What's the other red eyes fusion that they? Yeah. Can it summon that? Yeah, media yeah. fuck knuckle. Um, <laughs> burn, burn you. It's from... like media comet dragon, which is now very summonable with the new red eyes media dragon card, serving as a level six in the main deck and a level seven on the field. Shut up. <laughs> Makes for some very good plays with dark magician, not red eyes. Yeah, so these cards are all set to come out in the history archive collection. There's a bunch of new cards that got announced um, for the archetypes I mentioned. Um, I feel no need to mention them now. Um, they've been out for weeks, you know what they do. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether we actually get these in the TCG. If they don't, I will rampage, because I want them. No, I mean, they're double up rarity, so... so but you can it's... get them right now. Just go to the markets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. Preferably honestly. in a language I can understand. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try to. We should do a box opening. I'll try to. Because I'm, I'm in Sydney fairly frequently, so I'll never forget Big I'll yeah, never yeah, yeah. Dark Big I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and just, if there's a box oh, or two, I can get. Yeah, 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 just get them from Wish. Oh, yeah. No, you no, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> we'll go, go to the no, markets. No, no, we need to go to markets. Lewis like, had a gift. I'll, I'll record it. I'll, I'll record going to the markets. Mm. Like they Everyone like, knows that. You've got to stop. No, bro, I'm good. Don't worry. Who doesn't know? You guys know Gear Free the Iron Knight. Yeah. I will never forget this name. The fake name was Iron Warrior Free Cogwheel. Like. Who, uh, whom's, wait, whom's to heck goes? This is a sentence that'll perfectly replace the cogwheel. Whom's cogwheel? Yeah. There was a shop just in the main street of Oak Flats right at the end that um gave oh, they had fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, they them. they were uh, I don't remember the exact shop. It was you know where the the real estate agent is now. Yeah, 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 it's yeah yes. It's like a uh, BYO. Oh, it's a BYO. The yeah, ball the, shops the there. The ball and then directly yeah. across on that yeah. corner. There was a yeah. shop that sold fake Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Fuck yeah! And she used would have gone to the Pokemon lady. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. News agent down the bottom. No, no, or no. The other one. Like there was just it was the same shop. Was, I think. No, no, it wasn't was a it? shop. There was just the Pokemon lady. She just had... did you buy Pokemon cards from a lady on the corner? No, <laughs> I didn't. I got told about this because my parents wouldn't let me buy anything. I bought more than my that. parents like <laughs> my parents were so bad. Like they didn't let me buy anything. No, but there was this lady in Oak Flats. She used to crack a heap of Pokemon product and then sell the singles. Oh, that lady still is in Oak Flats. <laughs> Is she a cat lady? She sounds like she should be a cat lady. Uh, I don't know, but she like comes to work all the time. I was walking down Wentworth Street in Port Campbell, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then this Dude. lady was like, "Hey, you want to come have a good time?" And I was like, hey, well, "Let's go." Oh, yeah. Sounds like she wants to play Pokemon. We hopped <laughs> show me your binder. We hopped into the back of the car, and she's like, "I'm gonna crack some OG packs. We're gonna pull a Shadowless Charizard." And you're like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" 
Then I put my backpack without a sleeve. Yeah. She went to take. <laughs> she went to take her first dead chives out of the sleeve. Oh no! Put it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that'll absolutely go All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Yeah, You're the best. Feel free to like, subscribe, join the Discord, leave comments, let us know oh. uh, what you thought of this week's episode, ask us questions. If you're still yeah. here, type Cogwheel in the chat. Cogwheel. Free, free my man, Cogwheel. Free Cogwheel. <laughs> Hashtag free here. Cogwheel. <laughs> Have a good night.